There was a moment of silence before this game for Milo Hamilton here at Globe Life Park in Arlington. What a great career. Here are some of the top moments in Astros history as called by the Hall of Fame broadcaster. Sitting on 714. Here's the pitch by Downing. Swinging. There's a drive into left center field. That ball is going to be out of here. It's gone. It's 715. There's a new home run champion of all time, and it's Henry Aaron. The score is 2 to nothing, Houston. Now the hitter is Will Clark. He's 0 for 3. Playing at a bouncer. This should be it. Davis runs to the bag. Davis no, no hitter. Astros win the championship. What a way to do it. A no hitter. Mike Scott has just thrown his first career no hitter. And the Astros are the National League champions of the West. The Yankees haven't had anybody on base with a hit yet. Bouncer first base. Bagwell to Wagner. It's a no-no at New York for six Houston pitchers. 2-0 pitch. Swinging. There it is. Here comes Osmus. The score is tied. Bidge wants to make it a double. And he's going to be out. He didn't get the trademark, but he did get 3,000 hits. Burke is the batter. Ensberg is on deck. And the pitch. Swinging. Lining it to left. It's gone! It's gone! It's gone! Chris Burke! Holy Toledo! What a way to finish! So, Alan Ashby, and you worked with him in the radio booth for eight years, right? Eight years. He is the voice of a lot of people's childhood as they grew up following baseball. He's the voice of the Houston Astros. Uh, simply, he's the captain. And uh, his preparation, his love, passion, uh, just everything he put into the game of baseball, every broadcast was like it was the last one he would ever give, and he uh, he loved it with all his heart. Wouldn't he like to be sitting in this chair doing this game tonight? It's what he lived for, in my opinion. Uh, the, the, the captain wanted to be in that chair, and when he wasn't, he was listening or watching and always a part of his Houston Astros. He rose to the big occasion so well. He brought you along with him, and it was a wonderful ride.